There's nothing new on TV. Yeah, this is boring. <laughs> hey, huh? do you smell hmm? mint chocolate? <laughs> Uncle Party! Hello, my favorite niece and nephew. <laughs> Uncle Party, we're the only niece and nephew you have. <laughs> That's a smart girl. But even if I had another thousand, you'd still be my absolute favorite. What's that, Uncle Party? This is a very special item I'm giving to Queen Arya of the Golden Country. It looks like jewelry. It is. This is a one-of-a-kind amber ring made from the rare caramel sap of a pine tree that used to exist millions of years ago. Wow. It's really pretty. Just pretty? I've never seen anything that wonderful in my whole entire life. It's not just that. It has magical powers that aid in their constant fight against evil. Does it really? Well, at least that's what the Chocodin told me it did. Who, Who is Chocodin? Chocodin? He's a collector. The great-grandson of a Viking, I know. <laughs> now that's reason for a wow! Besides that, the ring also has... No, huh? my brother! <laughs> I knew I smelled mint in the air! It's so good you came to visit us! I actually just stopped by quickly to say hi to you guys. But I'm on my way to... Nowhere! Not before you have a cup of Choco Love and tell me what's new with you! Hmm... Come on, let me see it, Choco Mark. What are you talking about? Uncle Party's ring! But why? What are you thinking of doing with it? I say we call an extraordinary meeting at the Choco Friends Club so we can show it to all the others. But Uncle Barty said the ring is really fragile. <laughs> well, I'll take good care of it. All right. But we have to be back before he realizes it's gone. Okay. Wow! It really is beautiful. And it even has magical powers. That's what Uncle Party told us. How about we try it out now to see if anything happens? We could see if whoever wears the ring can make the tastiest chocolate in the universe appear. Or perhaps the whole chocolate waterfall in here. Or maybe even... All right, Chocolin, I think we get the gist. We just gotta be careful, all right? No problem. So I'll go first. <laughs> well, then, are you feeling anything different? No. So far, nothing different. Let me try it on, then. Mm. Be careful! Oh, you can leave it with me. There's no way it will slide off of my finger, you guys. <laughs> See, it stays on. Do not do that! Now it's my turn. The ring is extra special to me. Because my name is Caramel, and the ring is made of caramel amber. All right, Miss Queen of the Caramel. You can have it. <laughs> I think the ring may have chosen me. No, it didn't. It just got stuck on your body's giant fingers, Big Truffle. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to get it out of there right now. Oh, it doesn't come off. Let's all pull together, guys. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. You're going to yank my finger off. telling us first. Because his finger was stretching out more than Flex the bunny. In that case, we have to figure out another way of getting the ring off. Let's all get together in the circle of thinking, guys. <gasps> I know. What if we put something slippery on Big Tropo's finger huh? to help the ring slide off? That's a great idea. I have a small tube of Choco fix here. Oh, great. This should work out. There. I used the whole thing. Now, everybody, let's pull. One, two, three, and pull! Oh no, sweet cookie, are you okay? Of course not, she swallowed the ring. Don't worry, sweet cookie, you're gonna be all right. We're gonna get the ring out of you. Uh, what are you doing? Squeezing her belly. This way, the ring might come out. <laughs> It's not working. What now? What are we going to do? And that's why I gotta take this ring to the queen. What ring? Ah, uh, where's the ring? The kids must know where it is. Hey, Chocolin. Choco Mark. Hmm. I think I know where your ring is. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we can't have Uncle Party put sweet cookie on the queen's finger, can we? I know. No. I'm going to have some cereal because I just got really hungry. <laughs> uh. oh. The ring really is magic. How are you feeling, 
sweet cookie? It's all good. I have another spoon. <laughs> Guess we'll have to wait for the ring to come out on its own. How? Hmm. <laughs> but how do we know when she's gonna poop them? I know. Grandma has a special recipe just for pooping that has never failed. <laughs> hey, kids. Have you seen Uncle Show's ring? It's in here. Oh, phew. Where? Um, Sweet Cookie swallowed it. And now we don't know what to do. Let's not panic, guys. I think I know a way. She must be attracting metal like a magnet, right? How, How do you know, know that? that? Because that's one of the properties of amber. When stimulated, it turns into a type of magnet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please get her to lie down and open her mouth, would you? to get her to open her mouth. <laughs> I'm so glad it all turned out well. Not so fast. You took something that didn't belong to you without asking first. We're, We're so sorry, sorry, Uncle Party. We won't do it again. It's totally fine, kids. I'm so glad it all turned out well. Well, then how about we do the Choco Lele, the happiness dance? <laughs> Seek with Chocolin. Me neither. Since you were the first one to be discovered, little brother, it's your turn to count while we all go and hmm? hide. Guys, hmm? what's that? Whoa. Whoa! Guys, it looks like a rainbow storm is coming. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of that kingdom before. That's awesome! We're here because we're looking for help! We came for Uncle Party. You're his nephews, aren't you? Yep, that's our uncle. But he's not here right now. Well, he's not in the kingdom of Finland. We already went there and couldn't find him. But what do you need him for exactly? There is something bad going on in the kingdom of all colors that's washing everybody out, and we think he can help us. And we thought Uncle Party could help us find out what might be causing it. Mm, ah, like I said, he's not here, but... What, what is, is that? that? It's the walkie-talkie for super-duper urgent matters from Uncle Party. Oh, yeah, that should help us find him wherever he is. That's awesome. Hello, Uncle Party. We need your help super-duper urgently. Come here fast. Hey, Chocolate. I'm sorry, but I can't right now. I'm a bit tied up. But Uncle Parney, the colored brothers from the Kingdom of All Colors really need your help. Yeah, everybody in the kingdom is fading. I'd really like to help, but I'm actually tied up by a liana vine. I'm here in the enchanted forest right now, but my friends, the dwarves, are on their way to help me out. Huh? Uh, I just hope they don't take too long. <laughs> what a pity, Uncle Parney. I promise that as soon as I'm free, I'll be on my way and swing by the kingdom of all colors. All right? All right. Hey, you guys. Since Uncle Party will be going there later, how about we meet him there so we can help him solve the mystery? Great idea. idea. We would certainly be very grateful. But how will we get there? We can take you guys over there. But how? How about 
Sick, but all of them? Only if it's an epidemic. Whoa! Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. 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 They've been even more washed out. What just happened? I've never seen a cloud like that before. Let's go check out that cloud right now, then. I think you just want to have the chance to fly with the colorful ones again, don't you? Yeah, it's for a good cause. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Before I can get away! <laughs> That's Whitey Boy! Boy! You kids will never be able to stop me! <laughs> uh -oh. That's Uncle Party! We got you, Whitey Boy! Oh no, you didn't! <laughs> Now you did. Why are you doing this to the colored brothers, Whitey Boy? Because I can't stand it that everybody else has a color except for me. I'm the only one all washed out like this. But you also have your own color, you know? You're white, Whitey Boy. White and beautiful. Well, I don't think so. Whitey Boy, your color is very special. But why? Have you never noticed? You stand out from the rest of us when we're all together. True? So I really am special? Of course. of course! Whitey boy, everybody is special in one way. You're special in your color. That's so great! I'm just so happy! Well, I'm not happy being like this at all! I really like the color I used to have! So, so did we. we! Oh, don't you worry. All you have to do is bathe in the pure waters of the colored mountain to go back to your normal colors. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been selfish and done this to you guys. Well, we forgive you. Isn't that right, guys? Yes! This calls for a Choco Lele, the happiness dance! Yeah! yeah! Choco Lele is a fun dance. And no one ever wants to stop, no. If you just Choco dance! Get out of here! Your thing is Choco Ball! Dancing is my thing! Yeah! <laughs> That's what we're going to find out! Then let's get down right now! Follow me! Where are you going? We told you we were going to play Choco Dance at Max's house, remember, Mom? It's gonna be so awesome! Okay, bye, Mom! Huh? Hold on just a second! Aren't you two forgetting anything? Huh. <laughs> mm. Well, there's nothing that we know of, Mom. I think you kids might be forgetting something very important. Huh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Today is Daddy's birthday! <gasps> That's right! How could we forget that? 
Well, I didn't forget. I'm making his favorite cake, the one with rainbow jelly topping he loves. Mm. Oh boy, I love that jelly topping. Please tell me you have some for me. No, <laughs> I have to get the jelly oh. from Miss Meringue and it has to be before 3 p.m. because she's going out of town. Oh, that's okay. Guess I'll just have some when we get back. <laughs> Not so fast. I need you to stop by Miss Meringue's house and get the jelly for me so I can finish the cake. Sure thing, Mom. Stop by her place before you go to Max's house, you hear? All right. Hey, 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 Miss Meringue's house is that way, to the left. But Max's house is this way. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Wait, but weren't we supposed to get the jelly first? It's still 11 o'clock. And Miss Meringue is only going to leave at 3 p.m. We'll have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, it's my turn now. <laughs> huh? No way! Oh yeah, who's the man? Do you want a rematch, big sis? <laughs> The clock is running 15 minutes ahead. It doesn't matter. We don't have enough time to make it to Miss Meringue's house. My dad can give you guys a ride to get there in time. Don't you worry, kids. Everything's going to work out oh. fine. Huh? Oh, man, no. We better just keep going on foot. Thanks for your help, Mr. Maximus. Uh, oh, no. no. Oh, look. Here, children. Uh, uh, what else is about to happen? Oh no! It's an ice cream hailstorm. Jelly. The thing is... Let me take a guess. You didn't follow my recommendation and went straight to Max's house. There, huh? you got too distracted playing, and when you looked at the time, it was already Whoa. too late to go to Miss Meringue's house. So you ran in the storm like two maniacs, and even then you were still late. Am I right? <gasps> Do, you Do you have, have a crystal, crystal ball, ball, Mom? No. Miss Meringue thought it was strange that you didn't stop by, so she came here to bring the jelly. I got worried about you, so I called Max's house, and he told me the rest of the story. At least now Dad's going to get the jelly for his favorite rainbow cake. That's not the point, Chocolin. You didn't do what I asked you to, and you could have made yourself sick by running around in the storm. We're, We're really sorry, sorry Mom. Mom. You're totally right. Okay, apology accepted, but let this be a lesson to you. Don't you forget. Duty always comes first, then you can have fun. Do you understand? Okay, yeah, we Mom. do, Mom. Now go finish getting ready because Daddy must be getting here! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you all, you wonderful sweetie. Happy, Happy birthday, Dad! Dad. 
Happy birthday to you, dear. Thank you so much, everyone. We, we have, have a present for you, Dad. Oh, this is a beautiful gift, kids. Did you make it yourselves? We did, Dad. We made it on our own. No one helped us or anything. Wait, how about the frame, Chogo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, Mom made the frame. I actually didn't make the frame myself. I only had it framed. But I did make your favorite cake, honey. You mean the one with the rainbow jelly topping? Yeah! <laughs> That's amazing. I wasn't expecting to have a cake today, honey. We, we weren't either. either. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs>